good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Yeah, right, George, you need some help over there? But good morning everybody. Um, it's Tuesday morning. I did uh I was pretty busy yesterday. I ain't getting nothing recorded. But um anyway, we got some rain last night. We had a, a pretty bad thunderstorm. Tornado touchdown and all that. But um anyway we had a good day yesterday. I ain't have but two trucks. Well, I ain't had two of my but two of my trucks. George and Skin Tight. Uh, Amp Hot Rod, they were out yesterday. But um, y'all go down in the comments. Y'all guess how many loads we got yesterday. George and Skin Tight. Everybody, let's see here. Twelve thirty. There goes number nine. And they just uh, got another load of rock dropped in here. But anyway, we're rocking and rolling, boy. I gotta get back to work. All right, everybody. So uh, let's see. It's five fifteen. Uh, just got skin tight loaded. That makes 17 for today. Um, my camera quit on me again. So anyway, thanks again to Sky Hunter for uh, the money. He super thanked me or whatever you call it. And uh, I want to let you know I appreciate it. All right, everybody. So um, weren't much uh, video recording went on today. My camera messed up on me. So. Um, Try to make the video a little longer. I figure I'd read some to y'all. I ain't read nothing to y'all in a while. And uh, shame on me for not doing it. I, but there's no better time than the present. Um, be reading. I don't know if y'all can see it. Kind of faded out there. But anyway. So let's get into it. Those by the wayside are the ones who hear. Then the devil comes and takes away the word out of their hearts, lest they should believe and be saved. And that's uh, from the book of Luke, chapter 8, verse 12. And it says, um, Disinterested sinners don't value the gospel when they hear it. So the devil is able to take the word out of their hearts. The gospel has not captured their attention. And therefore, they give it no thought. A parachute is of little value to someone who doesn't believe that they have to jump 10,000 feet. But those who know they are in danger will greatly value the parachute because it will save their lives. This is why it is essential to preach future punishment according to the law. God commands all men everywhere to repent because He has appointed a day in which He will judge the world in righteousness. It is because of God's holiness and His love of justice that each of us need a Savior. Those who understand and believe will embrace Jesus Christ for the sake of their very lives. And uh, here at the bottom, it gives you parts where, like, questions you can ask yourself. And it says, What part of the gospel message captured my heart? Oh, oh, oh. But um, and uh, has the word of God found root in my heart? How did it change my life? 
and um, it changed my life. Um, well, my fa one of my favorite verses would be Proverbs chapter three, verse five. It's uh, lean not on your own understanding, trust in Him with all your heart. Uh, acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your paths. And um, it changed my life a lot because uh, I have, um, I don't know, a I would call it a problem, but I like to try and understand everything and a lot of times if I can't understand it, I don't, I don't pay it no mind. And uh, I missed out on a lot, but now I don't worry so much and um, I know the Lord's got my best interest in his heart so there's no need to worry and with the way everything is right now a lot of people a lot of people worry and um, I'm not saying I don't worry and that you won't never worry again but uh, you worry different you don't worry as long and um, anyway if you haven't talked to God lately you should talk to God he'd love to hear from you